So this seems to be the start of like a three episode arc, but this is like the pre one. Uh, so, the night before. The night before the MVP battle. What the MVP battle is, I have no idea. It says in the um, additional information that the students face challenges and must compete in pairs. So mm, I wonder who the pairs will be. If they win the competition, they get to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> they have to. They have to. They're forced to kiss. Somebody actually walks out onto the playing field and pushes them together. It's the rules, man. It's the rules of the MVP battle. Listen, I didn't I didn't make the rules. That's just the challenge. I hope we get a bait and switch this episode. <laughs> what the fuck? No, we're getting flashbacks. Flashback to the episode before. <laughs> really exactly the same, but with like crazier music this time. <laughs> <laughs> the like scary music they picked is sending me into fucking orbit right now. It's like Twilight Zone music. I can't handle like the synth. <laughs> Damn, no bait and switch. This is so messed up. They're taking away everything. <laughs> this country's going into the toilet. It's okay. We still have the like sick opening. <laughs> if you like watch this intro too hard, it's like so funny. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, the, like each like individual movement they make is so weird and unnatural for like any human being to do. I like it when they like superimpose them over the ocean, like they're just a head floating by. Boys, <laughs> dude, do you think we're gonna see an MVP battle in this episode, or will it just be the night before? I think I think it'll just be the night before. Is it, it's in real time. The episode is like eight hours long. So he's giving him the email address to the chairman, but he is the chairman, so he just gave him his email address. He said, "Have you tried just asking to not be expelled?" <laughs> Who are those two? I've never fucking seen those guys. Oh, no, they're doing got a like petition? a petition. <laughs> oh, he's like forcibly making people sign. The music is going so insane right now. Like it sounds like a sonic level. <laughs> it does. It's like one with palm trees and shit. Yeah, literally. Do you think that would work in like an American public school if you like signed a petition to like not expel a student? Um, do you think anybody would be like, this matters? Well, fun story. You know how sometimes seniors do senior pranks? Uh -huh. So our senior prank was creating a slip and slide in the courtyard. And it was just like, you oh, know. We did that too. Piece of tarp with some like soapy water. Three people got caught for it, even though there were like 20 people out there when the principal came storming out. Three people got suspended for, I think, either three days or a week which would have meant they would have missed their final exams and wouldn't have been able to graduate. Mm. So people started making like free blank, like their name, posters and shirts oh, and funny. wore them around the school. Don't know if it worked. I wasn't that invested, but uh, they did graduate, so it was fine. They did the slip and slide prank as a senior prank like my sophomore year when I was mm. in school. They did do it inside and flooded the school and we had to evacuate, <laughs> which was pretty great. But my senior year, the senior prank, I have literally no idea how this happened, but they did get the principal's car into the cafeteria. Like that episode of Drake and Josh. <laughs> Literally like that episode of Drake and Josh. I have no idea how they did this. I don't know how it was accomplished. It kept like the alarm kept going off because people kept touching it. <laughs> Anyway, what's happening here? Teachers, oh, it's computer or whatever. And it's not as interesting as actual high school. He's still like moping and mourning. I don't care for this. He's literally about to get expelled, dude. Just don't give it another, just stop thinking about it. <laughs> Manifesting it by thinking about it too much. Oh, they're old friends. Omi is half American? Wait, um, but American isn't like a... It's not a race or ethnicity, I guess. I don't know what the proper term is for that. It's not really an ethnicity either. American is a... It's a nationality. It's a, it's a state of being. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he grow up and his eyes got squinty? Like, look at him now. <laughs> he just stopped. He got so <laughs> depressed about being bullied that he stopped opening his eyes. What, just because you could speak English? I guess if I was in another country and one other person spoke English. I mean, like, we're friends now. <laughs> Dude, when I was prepping to do Peace Corps and I would talk to people that came back, almost every single one of them was like, there was one person in my village that spoke English and I married them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Omi didn't get in. Damn. He's like, well, Omi's really stupid, so... <laughs> <laughs> Hack into the BL server. So he he wasn't actually admitted. He got in. He literally just added his name to the admissions. I love that. I love that. No, that rips. Good for him. Fuck the man. <laughs> this is madness. Yeah. This is crazy. I can't believe there's like a cooler love story going on in the background. He's like literally hacking into, illegally hacking into something to be with his lover. Oh. Uh. 
That's why they're. That's why they know. Interesting. And then he let him in anyway because he was like so impressed. Right now, it's probably like a "I kept your secret, you keep mine" situation. Oh, he looks very evil. Yeah. What the fuck? What? Damn. What were the conditions? Yeah. This is getting very spicy. Yeah. Is was he planning ahead of time for them to help him get Keita into the school? Tell me what's going on. Whoa. Wait. This is serious. He's like, I'm not gonna do that. To go to this school? What is it? It can't just be like lying about his identity. It, the, it turns out the chairman's offer was be my friend and I'll let him into the school. And they were like, <gasps> You just hang out with me sometimes. And he was like, Nah. It's like, I could never. Well, that was his phone in his hand. It looked like a little can of orange juice. He could keep orange juice in there. And he's saying this like MVP battle is like an established thing and people know what that means. I have no idea what that entails. No. Especially in the context of admittance to a school. Is it like, are we going to do like a spelling bee? Ooh. No way he finds out now. It'd be hilarious. No, because he's standing right there. Do you think some other kid's going to get kicked out in his place? Oh my like, god. Like, whoever loses. I want that, actually. I think it would be very funny. Oh, the fucking bear. I feel like this is exactly the premise of Danganronpa, just, like, without the murder part. <laughs> like, and instead they're just doing some weird game. Condensed into three episodes. <laughs> Danganronpa saw this show and was like, we could make that a full season with murder. We, can, we could go crazy. We could make an entire game series of this. <laughs> Did you know this show is a game, too? Really? Yeah. Damn, we should play it. Fell Liberty, whatever, Gakko in Heaven, PC game, I think. I'm literally Googling it right now. <laughs> so, like, does Kata have to finish number one in order to stay? That can't be right, right? Like, he probably just has to beat somebody, right? No, it says if you win this MVP battle, blah, blah, blah. If you win? That seems ridiculous. Does he have to win the whole thing or just, like, I don't understand how this works. Like, does he have to beat every other person in the school to be good enough to be at the school? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Is this going to be, like, a like a tournament competition or is it, like, a field day where you just have random events and if you do well? <laughs> tag match? Maybe they're going to do, like, tag team wrestling. Like in well, WWE. Maybe. I I wish. I got 132 percent chance of winning. It's <laughs> Sacco Vines. You're taking 33 and two thirds chance. <laughs> and Samoa Joe. I love that video so much. He's like, well, you have to consider that Kurt Angle knows he can't, he can't beat, me. beat me. What's the what's the math he does where he's like, and you take your 33 and a two thirds chance of winning and add that to my. <laughs> What's the number? Add that to my 72 and two thirds <laughs> chance. I got 141 <laughs> and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, McJoe. Oh, the doctor guy. Oh, yeah, wasn't there some someone with like a disease? Oh my god, you're right. There was like a person like passed out with an illness. Yeah, this guy was there. What about that guy? Are we gonna touch on that again? It's like a guy in a coma. He's got pinwheels. I feel like he may automatically lose the MVP battle. <laughs> yeah, there he is. There he is. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do about that? Anyway. What are we going to do now? <laughs> what the hell are we going to do now? Did he leave his door unlocked again? Damn, he's really going to get better about that. No, but remember he was like a kid and in the hospital too? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. There's got to be like a connection there, right? Like, I, I have literally no way to know what's going on here. There's got to be something there, right? There can't just be like two separate strange hospital events, right? It can't be. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's listing all their names, and I didn't pay attention. Didn't pay any attention either. You'll figure it out in post. Oh my god, Are they gonna, they're gonna make it so hard, but he's gonna win anyway, because the power of love. Of course. The power of friendship. Oh my god, who are those guys? Who are those guys? What the fuck? They're literally calling out a hit on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the episode, um, the, uh, I, uh, raised more questions than answers, but, you know. For sure, for sure. Um, there's already so many questions. I have about this series. I'd like them to start answering some of them. 